Yes. Okay. Last one. Last one. Oh. Hi. Sister Yoka. How are you? Why are you doing here? Pastor, tell me you have not been missing me. I have been missing you so much. I thought your children took you to the city. Pastor, point of correction. My children didn't take me to the city. I went to the city. And back there, I was missing you. Where has my mother gone to? Why is she back? Babe, what's going on? Huh? Look at the time and your mother is not back. And I'm very hungry. Hey, I'm talking to you. I'm very hungry and your mother is nowhere to be found. I don't know. Call her on the phone or something. Don't you have a phone? Use it. <laughs> Listen, where are you going? Somebody has to give me food to eat. I'm hungry! Mama, where have you been? I went to the market now. We, we've been worried about you. Everyone is hungry. No problem. I, don't, I bought things for food. Let me go quickly cook. Mama, oh. please do something. I'm hungry. I'll be fast. Oh. Oh. Why is the mother behaving like this? Well, people say that um, a, 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 way, a, a man's way to his heart is his stomach. Uncle, That's what people say. Uncle, I, I don't understand. What does that mean? Well, it simply means that when any woman succeeds in getting any man stomach, that man is capable of doing anything to her. Or for her, rather. Including sending his own wife away. Chukwaju. I forbid it. Wait, uncle. <laughs> what you're saying is what our mother is doing right now is capable of making Ma's husband send her away. Of course. Ha! Yes. Uncle, ha. that will not happen, no. That will not happen, Uncle. I will send Mama back to this village. I've taken enough already. Upon oh, your side chicks and your side mother. That's an abomination. Mama will not allow me to enjoy my matrimonial. Mm -hmm. I know why I'm keeping quiet is because she's my mother. Only when you hear the mail go say go. Mother that place. If you see the way she's carrying herself, if you see the kind of clothes she's wearing, she'll be calling herself sweet sixteen, sweet sixteen. Ha. I'm telling you the truth, oh, and my husband gets very excited each time he eats her food. Honorable name, Mama will leave my house, oh. Mama will leave my house. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. What we have to we have to do is that um, you don't need to take any further action until I'm at have finished discussing with our kinsmen. Again, make your It is when we are finished discussing with our kinsmen, then we take a decision from there. We will try as much as possible to keep her at an arm's length. Uncle, I've been trying. Uncle, you simply do not understand the kind of mother we have. I've done everything possible to stay away from her trouble, but she wouldn't let me. Do you know mama told me that she's sweet sixteen? It's not her fault that she's beautiful. Yes. That if I want, I can leave my husband's house. That she will enjoy. And the worst part of it is that that useless husband of mine keeps eating and enjoying mama's food. This, eh? is, this is highly opprobrious. But, 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 Uncle, what her mother is doing is different. It's not fair. No, no, no. What she's doing to us, her daughter. Is it fair? Andra, it's not fair. Okay. I, I, that is why I am here. I am even tired of hearing yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Once we, 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 are, we are done with this one, she comes up with another one. Okay. When we are done with that one, she comes up with another one. Do we run away from this? I don't know. Oh, huh? It's because she's be... my mother. Yes, 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 my mother. Yes,
I will send a message to you people. Just calm down. Oh, oh tell my father enjoy. Oh, my father enjoy. I'm going to go to Without telling me where she was going with her sister. What she does now is to monitor every of my movements. One man she. Monia. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. You're welcome. Thank you, ma. Are they in? No. Both of them are out. Oh. I'm alone in the house. I was just passing by and decided to check up on them. Uh huh. That's nice. What's that your, your name again? Ken. Oh, Ken. How are you? I'm fine, ma. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> uh, ma, please, can I get a uh, drinking water? Oh, nice. Come inside. Let me give you water. <laughs> See? Um, it's okay, my Thank you. Um, That reminds me. Did your mother visit village yesterday? Because someone told me that uh, he saw her in the village. <laughs> I think Buma is in a better position to answer that. Mm, she did not. Well, um, well, probably it's a mistaken identity. It happens all the time. It does. It does. Well, I, I want to say um, I will go inside from here. Eh? Thank you, uh, Uncle. Yes. Um, Thank you, Uncle. It's okay. We'll Thank call you. you. Oh, definitely. I, I know I'm expecting your call. Right, Thank you. Well, I'll give you a call as soon as I'm done. Alright. We will call you, don't worry. Oh, okay. okay. Bye. Alright. Sis, I'm thinking. Instead of Mama becoming a thorn in your marriage, why don't we allow her to continue in her affair with Pastor Andrew? Instead of making a fuss out of it. I mean, that way we can, you know, know how to handle Did her. Did she but... tell you she wants to marry Pastor Andrew? If she doesn't want to marry him, then why is she sleeping with him? Geraldine, let's go. Hey, hola. Hi. Hi. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. How is your family? You're fine. Is um, everything all right? Yes, everything is fine. I came to see my friend, but he's not at home. Okay. Uh, um, I have to go now, eh? Okay. All right, All right then. Bye. Bye. sisters mm -hmm. I don't understand I I just arrived here is the man not at home you didn't call her before you started coming here I did but her phone no, is not reachable so who did you see when you came in I saw Pedro's friend mm -hmm. he said Pedro is not around these children are getting on my nerves Geraldine and Uma went out since morning without telling me where they were going. Or them are for. Is it good? No, but has it been long they left? They left since morning. You heard me now. Hey, since morning. Wow. Oh, Mama was still sitting. Come on, can't jack for you. Come on, can't jack for They're playing with me. Don't worry. Okay, let me call her and know where she is. Ah, boss, I'm gonna get her. Mama sweet sister, ah, I just want so she could live yum yum yum, ah, oh, mama sweet sister, ah, I just want so she could live yum yum yum. I don't understand why both of you have to travel to the village to see uncle without telling me. Eh? But you said. But what? I said what? I said what? 
By the way, I wasn't talking to you. Oh, Ola, you're angry now, yes. right? Why won't I be? Like I'm now the black sheep of the family. Kept to one side. It's okay. It's not what you think. You know we love you so much. And so? You don't have to be angry. You don't have to be mad at us, okay? Okay? Mama? I understand you traveled to the village. Yes, Mama. I did. For what? Hmm? Well, I went to see our uncle. For what? Is I don't understand, Mama. Don't I have the right to see him? Am I a child? On what ground? Mama. Shut <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. Shut your mouth! Mama, what is all this for crying out loud? She's somebody's wife and I'll slap you, you old idiot. How dare you talk to me like that? Was I talking to you? You went to the village to report me to your worthless uncle and expect me not to know. And if you look at me again like that, I'm going to slap you across your face. Silly. Why is everyone staring at me? What's going on? This is your useless wife. Yeah. Traveled all the way from this place, this town, to the village just to report me to her worthless uncle. Stupid. Oh, she did? Yes, she did! Oh, if you look at me again like that, I'm going to slap you again. Babe, you didn't tell me you were going to the village. Nonsense. Sis! And you, be careful with me. Babe, um. Ma, I won't warn you again because I'm going to smack you very well. Still your mother. My child. Mother's shut up. You want me to give you a small money? Say, talk to her. Shoot. Your mother slapped you in my house. She had the the guts. To slap you in my house? Has she gone crazy? What nonsense? Tell me what you told your uncle about me. Tell me what you told your uncle about Lola Selebaku there. Tell me what you told him. Mama, listen, you need to slow down. You need to slow down. This is my house. You can walk in here and do what you like. You even slapped my wife. That's unacceptable. That's complete nonsense. How dare you talk to me like that? Not for me, me. Mama, how dare you? Mama, how dare you slap my husband? Mama, what? Why would you slap my husband? What is all this? Mama, what? what is all this? Hey, Mama, what? what is all this? Stop it! You see your husband call me nonsense? This thing? This lily livered man and this chicken, this half man you call a husband? It's up to the caliber of men I've dealt with, but you know. It's up to any one of them. Minutes, rubbish. If you get so she go de yum 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 ah Mama ni because you want me gay ah I so you go de yum 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 ah Jay na wish can woman no I mean this yeah everything I double I'm sorry I apologize it's my fault. Please forgive me. <laughs> On the other hand, she's your mother. What, whatever decision you, you make or take, I'll strongly support you. Why do you want to support me now, Pedro? You're such a big fool. I pleaded with you from onset. This would have been avoided, but you wouldn't listen to me. You derive joy in making me a laughing stock in the presence of my mother all the time. That's why I'm apologizing. This is not the time to apportion blames. 
I have accepted that I was wrong and I'm sorry. And come to think of it, if you want to look at this situation critically, you're the one taking this matter too far. Yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> I knew it. I know this is your fake apology is for you to find a way to blame me. You know what? You can as well take my mother as your second wife. Excuse me. This is the height of it. I mean, how could you do a thing like that? It's not fair. Mama, to be honest, I won't allow you to slap my own husband in my own house. It won't happen. So what will you do if I do? <laughs> if I slap your husband before your presence in your own house, what will you do? <laughs> Ma, you and I know that you cannot try it. Not in my house. Then, then take me to your husband as well. Geraldine, I can see you have gone forward. You have gone bananas. I will move that madness from your head. Mama, Stupid. Mama, we've, we've had enough from you. Okay? Just go and apologize to Ma and the husband. That's all. I will not do it. You will not do it. And who is Pedro to call me nonsense? Is he up to the caliber of men I have dealt with? Is he up to the foot match? The foot to the way? Is he up to that? I've dealt with men of different calibers. Old, young, blue, black, all of them. Mama. Is he up to any one of them? Mama. Mama, I don't understand. Can you imagine what is coming out from your mouth? A mother at that. Mama. Really? Mm. Stupid. It won't take you anything. Just go and apologize to man and husband. That's all. If you say that to me again, I will slap you across your face. Then I will whack you. Then get ready to slap me too. Because I am of the same opinion with her. Go and apologize, mama. It will not take you anything. Apologize to them. Just shut your mouth. You two should go back to your husband's houses. It is... My husband, my husband, my husband. Then go back to your houses. I didn't commit any crime. All I did was to enjoy myself. Just apologize. It's simple as that. Come on, put me to a put gun on my neck to apologize. You follow her. She know the shiva. Her eye the glitter. Anyway, she tell you go back to your husband's houses. Mama sweet sister. Ah, I just so she go the pium pium pium. Oi, mama sweet sister. Ah, Na so she go de pium pium pium. Ah, mama ni because you wanna ke. Ah, Na so you go de pium pium pium. Ah, Jay. Na question woman no I be this ya. Ah, Every day na double wala. Ah, women no ya watch your husband ya. Sweet sister, na got the one. It's okay. Please stop crying. We should have just left Mama at the village to continue her promiscuous life. Eh? Now look at it. Your marriage is on the line. We only brought her here just to make her life better. See what is happening? I'm not enjoying it at all. Geraldine, Mama is not the problem here. No, my no. husband is. No, sis, I disagree with you. Mama is the problem. She has turned the heart of your husband because of her delicious meal. Is he a child? I warned Pedro. If he had listened to me, all of this wouldn't have been happening. I warned him. I know. Just calm down, please. Don't forget your husband is a man. And is he not supposed to have sense? He's supposed to have sense. But you know that men love food. Good food. And you and I know that... You're not good at cooking. He complains about it. A lot. Yes. Geraldine, my husband satisfactorily eats and enjoys my meal before Mama moved into this house. Yes, of course, I know I'm not a good cook, but what happened all of a sudden? Why did he change? You know... He's you... been eating my meal, yes. 
I know. I'm sure he's eating your meal just to make you happy. Then he should stop eating mama's meal to make me happy. Then you learn how to cook um, so that mama will stop bringing issues between you and your husband. Just calm down. Please. Please. Stop sure. crying. Oh, Adane. Calm down. Nobody's fault. Calm down. Be calm. So why is it my concern? Well, you shouldn't have told Mama that we went to the village. You shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. But she asked me. Oh, I should have lied to Mama. I mean, this will not be the first time of you lying to Mama. You should have covered up now. I don't have time for this your nonsense. Okay? Wait. Yes. Okay, wait. Let me get my bag. We'll go together. Wait, wait now. Ja, ja, hola, please Can you no. stop? I will just hold on for you. Let me get my bag. I'm coming. What is it? Um, I... I'm here to apologize on behalf of my wife. Uh, I know she, uh, she crossed the line. Yeah, she did. Uh, so I, I wanted to say uh, I'm sorry about that. It won't happen again. Start apologizing for yourself. Because you insulted me more than anyone else did. Do you think you can rain insults upon insults on me? Just because I'm in your house? You think I don't have a house as well? Um, you see, it's not in my nature to insult anybody because I wasn't raised like that. I guess everyone was just um, a little bit under the weather. So um, just forgive us, all right, please. It's okay, I've heard. Oh. Please, do you know where my wife is going? I don't know. Oh, right. Um, is there food in the house, please? In where I can. Oh. All right. Thank you for your cooperation. Bye. Sister, it's over a week now. Just let it go. Oh, be cool. At the end, he's still your husband. Listen, listen, listen. I do not give a hoot. If he wants, he can continue to eat Mama's food. I don't care. Sister, why are you sounding like this? Please. Don't sound like this. 
If you don't give your husband food, who will take care of him? No, tell me, who will? What is not fair? Why is he complaining? He started it all. He did not report you to me. He only complained because he knows me and you will have a good rapport, you know. Why would he complain to you? I warned him, but he wouldn't listen. So why is he complaining? I haven't even started and he's already complaining. Come on, sister. Why can't you take care of your husband? You are barely at home. Eh? Please, go back and take care of him. Be cool. Oh? Sister, you and I know that your husband is trying. You know. You know he's trying, even though he doesn't have a standing job now. But he's still trying. Biko, go back home and make up with him. Eh? Don't worry, I will see you this Saturday. Oh, my love. Biko, with me. We don't be angry. Yes, I will see you on Saturday. Okay? Bye. Mama, who are you talking with on the phone? Mama, when did I become such a child that I can't even have a proper phone conversation without you asking me who I'm on the phone with? I'm asking you because I know that whoever you were talking with on the phone, you people were actually discussing me. Mama, let me tell you. I know the reason I am still in your house. If not a Pedro, your husband, came and begged me, apologized to me, I would have gone back to the village long before now. Okay, they do. Wait, you mean my husband apologized to you for slapping him? Are you surprised? It's not like you that is too stubborn. I have taught him the lesson you will not forget in his life. At least he has no kind of a mother in law as a king. I really don't understand what's happening. What have I done to Uma? She hardly cooks for me. When her mother does, she becomes upset. And I'm terribly hungry right now! Uma. Please, can I get something to eat? I'm hungry. Ma, can I get some food to eat, please? I want to ask you a question. Did you apologize to my mother? Ma, listen, let, let's not... No, I said, did you apologize to my mother? I want a direct answer. Yes or no? Did you apologize to her for slapping you? I, I did it for peace to reign in this house. Oh, come on. Pedro, just listen to yourself. Are you not ashamed of yourself? You did it for peace to reign in this house. God, you are embarrassing me. You should be a man. My mother slapped you in my presence. That's an insult to your personality. And what did you do afterwards? You went and apologized to her. Look at me. I've been thinking, how do I apologize to my husband for taking hot slap from my mother? The same husband went and apologized to my mother. I, I, I did it for your sake. Do not do such for my sake next time. Seek my consent. Ask me questions. Why would you tell me you did it for my sake? I never asked you to apologize to a woman that gave you a dirty slap in the presence of your wife. You know what? You know what? Enough of this madness. I am not taking it again. This is literally choking me. Whenever she comes back from wherever she went to, she's leaving that house and nothing it's is changing. It's not that serious now. Mom! But can I at least get some food to eat? Listen, Geraldine. Mama is definitely leaving my house. Sis, just calm down. No, don't tell me to calm down, sis. Don't do that. As a matter of fact, we all agreed to try this experiment with me. Let her stay with me. After a while, she'll move to your house. I've tried it, my darling sister. It's, it's literally choking me. It's not working for me. My mind's driving me insane. She's making me go mad. So I can't do this anymore. Maybe she can come over to yours or Ola's. Um, Ola needs to know about this. I don't care. This is not even my problem. If you want to tell her, fine. But for me, I have taken this decision and this decision stands. Who does that? Mama will wake up in the morning, leave my house without telling me where she's going to and come back whenever it pleases her. Really? Yes. No, no, no. That's too bad. Do you know, the last time we went to see Uncle that he was asking us if Mama came to the village. Do you know he was right? Mama actually went to the village. No, 
Who told you? Someone told me he saw Mama at the church premises. So apparently Mama went to see her lover in the village. No, don't tell me she went oh. to see the, the pastor. Of course, yes. I would have loved to bring her to the house, but you know my husband now. He can't even stand her. So you just have to, you know. Mama is leaving my house, though. Geraldine, Mama is leaving my house. I'm just respecting you and Ola because you guys are my only siblings. Mama is leaving. Oga apu kwao. Oga apu. Mama needs to change. She needs to change. She needs to change. Mama sweet sister. Ah, I just so she could live yum yum yum. Ah, oi, Mama sweet sister. Ah, I just so she could live yum yum yum. Ah, Mama ni because you want me gay. Ah, I just so you could live yum yum yum. Ah, Jay, na kwech ke woman no a mi nisi ya. Ah, I just everything a double wala. Ah. Remember, I watch your husband there. I got the one She's out. I think this is one. Um, no, I haven't. I have to worry about it. You need to go prepare something sumptuous. Very nice. And I'm fast about it. Okay? I'm coming now. <laughs> hey! Oh, wow! Where's this old man? Yes, yes. She's here with me. Hmm. No, no, no. I'll be closing by five. It's okay. Okay. Sis, I mean, Ola is very, very angry. She said she'll be joining me to your house this evening. Listen. I won't stop you guys from coming to my house because you're my sisters. But my stand is fine now. Mama is leaving my house. We all agreed that I tried this experiment first. My sister, I've tried it and it's not working for me. Probably there are things I'm not doing right. So maybe you or Ola can give it a try. No, sis, don't, don't, don't sound this way. Don't forget, you're still Mama's first daughter. <laughs> Mama, I, don't, I doubt if Mama cares. She has no regard or respect for me. I know. It's okay. I've heard you. Just calm down, okay? Please. It's okay. I have to be on my way. Um, Take care of yourself. One more thing, sis. Please, make sure you cook for your husband. I beg. It's very important. Please. Please. Has he not been eating food before Mama arrived? I know. Make, make sure you cook for him. him. All right, bye. I'll see you in the evening. All right. because you want me I saw you go de pium pium pium. Jay, a question woman, no, I mean, this year. This man wants to kill me. Everything a double wala. Women, no, ya watch your husband there. She was sixteen, and I got the one up. I get friend, no, ya, oh, your boyfriend there. She was sixteen, and they pass it for all. I, yeah, oh, ya, gong, gong, gong. Mwanyi na ganilo, eh? Oya gum gum gum. The question is, why didn't her mother teach her to cook? Hmm? She wants to clean your food, Mama. Oi, Mama sweet sister, no. Na so she go de pium pium pium. Mama nye because you want me gay. I saw you go de pium pium pium. Jay, na kwech ke woman no a mi nisi ya. Everything a double wala. Women no ya watch your husband ya. She was sixteen and I got the one no boy. Girlfriend no ya, oh ya boyfriend ya. She was sixteen and they pass it for road. Who is that? Who is that? Oh, who is that? Give me a few seconds, oh? Okay, ma. You 
just to thank you for the food. It's very delicious as always. You're welcome. Thank you. And meanwhile, I did it for you. Oh, and I thank you for enjoying it. A few minutes, I'm coming. Oh, is your wife back? No, ma'am. I'm coming. Wait for me, oh. This is incredible. Hold on. With those used plates in the kitchen, it's obvious my mother is already back and had cooked for my husband. <laughs> She's definitely leaving my house today. There's nothing Ola or Geraldine will say that will make me change my mind. I can't take this anymore. This is becoming totally unbearable. What kind of rubbish is that? And Pedro can't even say no to food. It's fine. Let's see what happens. So, so my sister, I, I couldn't have rest of mind after speaking with you by the phone. I said, since I am less busy, let me come over so that we can speak it over before going to Mars, place. You know? My love, you did well. Ma is so angry with Mama. She is. She wants to send Mama out of her house. You know what? I am very, very happy that Ma has started seeing what we've been telling her in the past. Yes, I am happy because we told her. Mama is a very big problem. <clears throat> Mama is a case study. So what are we going to do now? Well, we just have to convince Ma not to send Mama out of her house for now. Huh. So are you saying that Mama should continue staying with them? Is that what you're trying to say? She wants to send Mama out of her house. <laughs> you know what? I am very, very happy that Mama has started seeing what we've been telling her in the past. Yes, I am happy because we told her. Mama is a very big problem. <clears throat> Mama is a case study. So what are we going to do now? Well, we just have to convince Mama not to send Mama out of her house for now. <laughs> so are you saying that Mama should continue staying with them? Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, not really. Mama would definitely go back to the village, obviously. But... But what? I just, I just don't want them to have this enmity because of this issue. You know, I just want her to take it easy. You know how Mama behaves. She has to take it easy with Mama. Geraldine, the only remedy about this is... I mean, or the only thing to do about this is to inform her uncle in this matter. Because I think it's your uncle that can settle this matter once and for all. Oh no. Mama is really biting more than she can chew. No problem, we'll have to involve her uncle. No, 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 God. I'm tired of Mama's character already. Mm. If you say so, no problem. <laughs> we have to. Sorry, Rudon. Yeah, hello. All right, girls, just want to make sure you're on your way. Hi, darling. Oh, please don't tell me. Did you eat Mama's food again? Yeah, you heard me. What is her? Huh? Are you suddenly deaf? Did you eat Mama's food? No, answer me! Did you cook for me? Didn't you leave me to die of hunger? Oh, yes, I did. I ate her food. Really? Yes. I thought you said you were never going to eat her food. I was food. hungry. Is that so? 
What? You're still here. So you're here. Of course. Are you surprised? You know what, Mama? Go in there, pack all your things. You are leaving this house first thing tomorrow morning. Why tomorrow morning? Why not now? I am leaving immediately. It's better. Because I've had enough of your troubles. It's becoming unbearable. I can't take it anymore. Pack your things and leave. Ma, bet me. You will never regret for sending your own mother out of your house. I will not regret anything. You are becoming impossible. Yes, leave. Enough of this. I am tired. No problem. No problem. And you, what kind of man are you? Are you not ashamed of yourself? What is wrong with you? Huh? No, I'm asking what is all, uh, huh? What is wrong with you? I, I was hungry. Must you eat? Even the Bible says man shall not live by food alone. Must you eat? Pedro, must you eat? <laughs> uh, so how is your wife? She went to her older sister's place. I think she's having a problem with her mother or something like that. Ah. Uh, <laughs> it must be about the issue of food in Pedro's house. How do you mean? Well, the woman once complained to me that Pedro's wife is not happy with her because she cooks for her husband. The woman complained to you. Yes. I mean, my mother-in-law complained to you. Is that a joke? Hmm? <laughs> my brother, it's a very serious matter. But that's by the way. How far now? How far with our business? I've not heard from our man. What in the door now? Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Ha! Uh, delaying it, man. What is she still doing inside? I thought she said she's leaving immediately. What is she still doing there? She should leave at once. Let me have peace in my own husband's house. I got your point now. What are you still waiting for? Why did you ask her to leave? Why would I ask her to leave? Why did you ask her? I'm her asking you. Why would I ask her to leave? Don't I deserve peace in my own husband's house? You have to answer my question. I don't have to answer your question. This is my husband's house. No, you have to answer my question. Why did you ask her to leave? Because she cooks for me. I am leaving already. Thank you. So save your breath and your strength. I am leaving. Please leave. May God's name be praised. Leave so I can have peace. As if it is my fault that I'm sweet sister. Who cares? What is any you? Who cares? Who You're not a virtuous woman. Are you proud of yourself? Who has it helped? Uh, hey, mama, hey, 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 listen, hey, listen to me. Listen no to sense. me. Hey, Mama. Mama, you're not going anywhere. No, 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 no. She's leaving. Yeah, she yeah. asked me to leave. No, she no, went there when she told me to leave. Why are you stopping hey, her from leaving? Hey. Allow Mama to leave my house. Let me have listen peace. To me. Listen to me. Mama, you're not going anywhere. She asked me to leave. No, no she leave. I am leaving. Hey, hey. Listen, I'm the man of this house. And I decide what happens here. And I made my decision. Which is... Mama, you must listen to me. Okay. Huh? You're not leaving this house. Oh. And you, don't say that to her again. Really? Mama, yes, let's I go inside. Hey, 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 She's not going in. You're watching me, Pedro. Listen, be careful. Be careful. So you want to hit me because I asked my mother to leave my house? She's my mother-in-law. And what am I? You're my wife. I am still 16. Have you forgotten? Mama, That's shameless. Mama, let's go inside. Be fast about that. Let's go. Okay, okay. Pedro. Yes. Wait, you, you don't like that she cooks it. Is that a problem? Is that a problem? Yes, let's go. Mama, let's go. Pedro, you know what? You just said. Mama, let's go inside. Go. Yeah? You are a disgrace to mama. Thank you. Please, Mama, please get me. Mama, please get me. Okay, Mr. P.E. I cannot take this nonsense, so I, I can't believe Pedro almost hit me because I asked my own mother to leave my house. Sweet 16 or sweet 20, you are leaving my house. Enough of this rubbish. I am not. Pedro, what was the meaning of what you just displayed out there? Ma, how could you be so mean to your own mother? Listen, if you know what's good for us, tell her to leave this house, else I will leave. 
How can you be so wicked to your mother just because she cooks for me? I don't care what you're saying. I do not give a hoot. It's either she leaves or I, Ma, will leave. Just because she cooks for me. I don't care. Okay. What do I do now? How do I make my wife understand? How do I make her understand? How do I get myself off this mess? How do I convince him? How do I make her understand? How do I am in trouble? Even though I refuse, she insisted and brought me to the city. Now she wants to disgrace herself and not me. Three sixteen like me, Udoka, or my me. Ha ha! Oh, can live on one one. Can you do what? Pity, pity, go do what? Is it my fault that I'm three sixteen? I can't hear you. 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 I can't hear no, no, me enjoy. No, what one can I this life? Women, no, yeah, watch your husband there. She was 16 and I got the one of them. You mean to tell me you're worried because of mama? It's okay, six, okay? We're here to settle everything. Settle what exactly? Do you believe for the first time my husband almost hit me simply because I asked my own mother to leave my matrimonial home? Is that normal? What? what? No, is it normal? You mean you asked Mama to leave your house already? Of course, I asked her to leave my house because I'm tired of her. Oh, yes, because I I blame you for this. Blame me for what? No, tell me, should I allow her to continue cooking for my husband? Mm -hmm. Is that what you're insinuating? That is not what I'm saying. So what are you talking about exactly? What I'm saying is that you shouldn't have allowed your husband go hungry because he has told you that Mama will not cook for him again. Really? Yes. <laughs> Well, you know what? I won't blame you because you've never been in my shoes, so you don't know how it hurts. I see. Sis, it's okay. Calm down. Um, let's go in and have a proper discussion with Mama. Okay? Yes. There's no need. I mean, to what end? Why would I want to have a conversation with Mama? Mama doesn't want to respect herself. Listen, my final resolution is that Mama is leaving my house. She's my mother and not my co-wife. So she needs to leave so I can enjoy my matrimonial home. Mama darling. Honey, what took you so long? So how are you? Very well. What took you so long? Um, nothing much, but um, is that a small thing settling problem with Mama and my elder sister? Mm -hmm. You did not tell me your sister is having a problem with your mother because your mother is cooking for Pedro. Who told you? Ken told me. Can. And who told Can? She did. Your mother. <laughs> I don't understand. My mother told Ken. Oh, yeah. He said the day he went to visit Pedro. And your mom told him. But the point is why has my wife refused to tell me this? I mean, why is she hiding this from me? It's not that serious. Okay? Apologies. Alright? It's okay. I'm hungry. Pick something for me to eat. But apologies, okay? 
Mm? It's okay. All right. So let me get something for you. What do you want? No, those are quite empty. Oh, as usual. As usual. All right. <laughs> All right, love. Love you, baby. Love you. Love you too. The problem is beyond our control. And we knew you would be the better approach for it as our father. Huh. Well, uh, you, you did well by bringing this matter home. Honestly, I saw it coming, but I didn't know it would get to this point. The doctor has to come home. Yes. Uncle, she has to come home. But huh. well, she's threatening us. That if we try forcing her back home, she will kill herself. What? Yes. You mean your mother says that? Yes. Yes, she said that. <laughs> she said that Mama insulted her. For that reason, she's not coming back to this village. Can you imagine? And she's threatening to leave the house for Mama. Yes. Hi. Uncle, we have to do something now. I'm very worried. I don't know why your mother should be troublesome in her own daughter's house. Eh? It is not good. But all the same, um, I think the only thing that uh, we will have to do is that one of you must take her to your house. Eh? Yes, that will have had this whole thing. Hey! Uncle, <laughs> obviously, my mother is not coming to my house. Everyone knows that. Because my husband cannot control her character. He can't. Uh, maybe Ola will be in a better position to, you know, bring her back to her own house, but not to my own house. How? I don't understand. Uh, uh, no, Gerard, uh, uh, I just want to, uh, uh, I want you people to understand this. What we are planning to do at the moment is to separate her from Mama and her husband at the moment. Is that clear? Uncle, Uncle that is very difficult. It is difficult. Um, Ola, I, I know quite well that you will handle this matter very well. Yeah? You will take your mother to your house mm -hmm. and talk to your husband about it. Mm -hmm. After we're talking about your mother, mm -hmm. it's your mother we're talking about. Mm -hmm. right? It's hard though. Don't say it's it is hard. hard. Because mama is taking, my mama, mama is taking more than required. Mm -hmm. You are the one that will handle this matter very well. Yeah? Before, I, before I, I will come into it properly. <laughs> yeah? mm -hmm. Let us separate her from mama at the moment. That's the truth. Guys, I'm very confused. I don't know what to do. Pedro, in the first place, I think your wife is wrong. If our mother-in-law cooks very well, so what stops your wife from asking her to teach her how to cook? Yeah, I think uh, Charlie is right. Pedro, you see your mother-in-law? That woman is very nice. Don't let your wife send her packing. You should rather use your authority as the man of the house and settle the problem. Pedro, tell your wife to go and learn how to cook. I mean, it's a shameful act that a grown woman doesn't know how to cook. Exactly. Charlie, that's not a problem. That's not the problem. The present predicament is my wife is threatening to leave the house if I do not send her mother out of that house. Oh. And my mother-in-law is threatening to take her own life if she's sent back to the village. Now, do you understand what I mean? I, mm, yeah. What do I do? A difficult one. Tell your wife to cool down. It's her mother we are talking about and not your mother. Will she be happy if she hears that the poor woman has killed herself? I think Ken is right. Hmm. Charlie, it's not that easy. It's not. Of course, it's not that easy. Because you have failed to act like a man. What do you mean? Like seriously, how could you say that? You, you can't possibly say that. Ken, listen, I, I shouldn't take such advice from you because you're not even married. You can't give me married men advice. Wait, 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 wait. Who is talking about being married or not being married here? This is how you reason all the time. Do you think because you're married it makes you wiser? It's okay, it's okay. Yes, no, no, it no, does. No, don't tell me to come no, back. This guy is always fond of this. No, Charlie, we need to educate this boy. 
It's a huge okay. responsibility Pedro, to be married. Pedro, it's you okay. think because you're married be fucking, it makes you a real man? Ken, are you talking to me? What will you do if I'm talking to you? Are you talking to me? So you think because you're married before Ken, it makes you the real man? Ken, Ken it's okay. It's a freaking responsibility to be married. And if you're not married, do not give me I marriage give by the end of the day. Talk about the house. I'm going to bring you to the house. What can you do? I'm going to bring you to the house. What can you do? Now, calm down. It's okay. You can't do shit. Ken. I can't do shit. You can't Ken. do nothing. I can't do nothing. Okay. Pedro, I double dare you. It's really? Okay. I double okay. dare you. Get okay. out of here before I punch your father. Yes, Charlie, I'll Ken. commit okay. murder in your house. Ken, it's okay. Please. What? Please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pedro, please. Did you hear that? Please. 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 Stop. Did you hear that? Ken. You're a chicken. That's what you are. Pedro, it's okay. He's not even married. It's okay. Forget about him, please. He doesn't even know when to be married. It's okay, Pedro. Please sit. Please. He's giving me married man advice. Are you mad? Are you Pedro. crazy? Have you gone nuts? Pedro, sit, please. It's okay. I'll beat you up like a little child right now. Pedro. What nonsense is that? Can we? He's not even married. Can we leave this topic? Talk about he doesn't even else. know when to get married. Babe, what are you doing? Obviously packing my things. I am leaving this house first thing tomorrow morning. So you're not going to hear me out? Hear you out for what? What do you have? You don't have anything good to say to me. Just calling me. Uncle, please stop calling me. I am not in the mood to talk to anyone. Ma, please listen to me. Please, you do not have anything good to say to me. What do you want to say to me? At least listen to me first. Say what? No, tell me what you want to say to me. Oh, go stop now. Stop calling me. Fine, let me put this phone on silent. Ma. Don't touch me. Do not yes, touch just me. Just listen to me. I'm your husband. Please listen to me first. Eh? Excuse me, okay? When you're done, I'll come back. I'll come back. Husband, it's not what you think. All right, it's not what you think. You need to calm down and listen to me. It's not what you think. All right. Sis, I hope you guys are not here to stop me from leaving this house because I must leave this house today. Please, calm down, calm down, just calm down, please. Let's sort this out. Sort what out? Sort what out? Mama is getting on my nerves. She's literally driving me crazy. And my husband can't even do anything about it. What do you want to sort out? Just calm down. Everything will be sorted out, okay? Be cool. I don't mean that. Do you know what Mama said to me? She was the person that brought out my bag. She said I can leave if I want to leave. What? That sweet sister is at the house. And to wasn't it all, my husband stood here without saying a word to her. It's okay, sis. We are here to... No, it's not okay. Everything. We are here to settle everything. Settle right? what, Ola? In my own matrimonial home? What do you want to settle? Sis, is Mama my co-wife? No. Calm down. 